Hi everyone, this is Dave, also known as Loving Them Trains. You're looking at photos of a pair of MTH Premier N&W SD40-2 diesels that have been three rail scaled. That means the pilots on these units have been fixed to the underframe, the handrails extended, and KD scale couplers have been installed. These units were actually the first diesels I weathered and I show a bit of that process in the video. As with videos where I showcase these types of modifications to the locomotives, I will also show the units pulling rolling stock that has had the same treatment. The video will conclude with the unit pulling a consist of boxcars on the layout. Alright, so here we are with both units uh, ready to go. So I added the masking to the windows. Nothing perfect, but any place that I don't want to get any of the paint on or matte finish, I just go ahead and cover those up. And I cleaned it up a bit with some Windex using one of these um, soft sponges here. And we're ready to go del delve into this. Never have done this before. Um, so this will definitely be an experiment. I have been playing around with some odds and ends that I have just to get used to using the airbrush and kind of know the technique. And now you just gotta, you gotta dive in. So I'm going to go in and first get the dull coat over this and then we'll start the process. Okay, here we are out in the garage with my makeshift weathering station. Just a piece of old Lionel tubular track and some rollers to get the wheels moving. So what I'm about to do is my first pass of grimy black by the now um, out of business fallen flag flow quill. So, uh, Let's go ahead and see what happens here. Uh, one thing I learned is to start off the, off the actual model as you start spraying so that there are no um, buildup of the color in one spot. So that's what I'm gonna do. Just evenly back and forth. And this stuff is very light, so you're not gonna see an immediate color change. And uh, we don't necessarily want that. We just want a bit of grind. Hitting the trucks right now. Now I'll move up a bit just to hit it, the rest of the locomotive. Staying mostly at the bottom. Now I'll hit the roof a little. All right. Now I'll get the other side off camera. Okay, I'm back up in the train room at the workbench, and I've done all of the uh, airbrushing that I think I'm going to do with these units. So as you can see, I've got the truck frames off and I'm just going to give the wheels, the wheel faces, uh, just a little bit of rust. And so for that, I'm going to use this um, Model Masters Burnt Sienna. I think it'll do the trick. So uh, just to give it a little bit of dimension and effort there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the, the wheels spinning and show you how quick this goes. So I've got my flat paintbrush. I'm just going to dip it in 
to the bottle just a little bit, a little dab will do you. And I'm just gonna set it in one spot going opposite direction of the wheel. And there you have it. Done. 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 I think I want a little bit more on that front wheel. Just done. It was under a minute, I believe. 